Welcome to our demo. In the top left is the text that is displayed as data in the RP token control, which is at the bottom left. And you see that uh, you can select things using arrow keys or with the mouse, and it does command select and shift select and all the stuff you would expect. Fancy effects? Uh, by default we have none. It looks like NS Token Control in the new version. Originally it did some other stuff such as reflections. You see the reflections just showed up there and as a matter of fact let me turn down the background whiteness then you can see the reflections and you can also do it in white. My select and selection color there is pink. Let me get rid of that. Okay. And then it does shadows or <laughs> both. <laughs> All right. Uh, now the maximum tokens to display. Uh, the demo right here is showing NS not found. That's what it defaults to. But uh, by sliding this down, we can restrict the number of tokens that are displayed. It only shows the biggest ones. Now, the font size right now we have set to, the fixed font size we have set to zero, which means that we have a variable font size. Uh, the suggestions are to use 11 and 40. That's what Robert used. Looks pretty good. If you want more uh, dynamic range, I guess you would call it, then you can lower the minimum and raise the maximum and make the thing completely unreadable. <laughs> uh, now, what may be more useful is the fixed font size. Now all the tokens are the same size and the user cannot see the count. Uh, well, let me get rid of this stupid fan. The leopard look. Okay, let's turn that off and make it look more like today. Uh, and then down here you can append counts to strings. So this tells the user how many uh, occurrences are associated with each token. And, oh, read this part here if you want. We're using this in, in a scroll view. And you can use it also without, in a, without a scroll view. And then you'll get uh, um, truncation. Now, the corner radius factor refers to the shape of the tokens. Notice right now they are quite rounded. This is like NS token field. Actually, out of the box, by default, everything looks like NS token field. And by reducing this number, you get more square tokens, which allows them to pack more tightly. And the width padding multiplier is a measure of the excess width that you have to the left and right of the word. Uh, this this uh, is like NS token field. I think it's about three. I just eyeballed it. Uh, if you reduce that, the, there's not so much space around the words. The tokens get smaller and you can pack them in. And the op opposite extreme, the tokens become bigger. 